Hi again, and thanks for tuning in. This is going to be our lesson 3.1 still, but we're working on day three, and what we're going to be looking at specifically is how to simplify expressions while using the distributive property. Um, today you're actually going to be looking for five things in your notes, so just make sure your notes are titled and ready to get started, because here we go. First thing we want to make sure we know how to do is how we simplify expressions. Remember before we were listing like terms, so in this one we're doing the like terms are negative 3x and 7x. Together they make 4x. And then we also have positive 9 and negative 12. And together those make negative 3. And then to write the expression in its final form, we, were writing, we would write 4x minus 3 or 4x plus negative 3. Okay? What we're going to be doing differently today is how to do that when you see the distributive property. When you are seeing the distributive property, you always want to distribute the number first and then simplify the expression. So what we're going to do now is just take time to pause to write these two notes, and then I'm going to show you two steps, and then I'm going to show you actually how those steps work. So go ahead and pause the video, write down one and two, and then click play when you're ready to go on. So this next one is actually going to, I'm going to show you how to do this. Again, you're going to distribute the number and then... Um, simplify the expression. Notice that anytime you're distributing a number, it's going to be the, on the outside of a set of um, things in a parentheses. So this 5 is going to be distributing to the C and to the negative 5. Remember, we're keeping in mind the minus sign in front of that 5 means it's negative. So this is essentially is saying 5 times C and 5 times negative 5. 5 times C is 5C and 5 times negative 5 is negative 25. So my answer for this one would be 5c minus 25. I cannot simplify that anymore because 5c and negative 25 are, are not like terms. So that technically would be my final answer. Remember, standard form is when you don't have any more like terms and no more parentheses. Or in this case, find each product, write your answers in standard form. Again, distribute the number, 2 times negative 6. 2 times positive b, 2 times negative 6, oops, and 2 times positive b. 2 times negative 6 is negative 12, 2 times b is 2b. So you could write your answer as negative 12 plus 2b, but ideally you would want to do it with the variable in front, so 2b minus 12. Either one of those would work, though. For this one, sometimes you're going to see the number at the end, and that's okay. Um, but what you just want to make sure of is that um, you're still distributing that single number to everything within the parentheses. So this one's going to kind of look backwards, but you're essentially going to be doing negative 3 times negative 10 and negative 3 times w. Negative 3 times negative 10 and negative 3 times w. Negative 3 times negative 10 is positive 30. And negative 3 times w is negative 3w. Again, you want to make that variable in front, so negative 3w plus 30. Okay? The next one you're going to try, and just make sure that your answer is written in standard form. So go ahead and pause the video, try distributing, and then once you're done, click play. All right, here we go. Let's see if you got your answer correct in standard form. Again, the first thing you want to do is distribute the number on the outside of the parentheses. 6 times 2y, 6 times negative 9. 6 times 2y, 6 times negative 9. 6 times 2y is 12y. 6 times negative 9 is negative 54. So if you put it all together, we'll have 12y minus 54. Or you can write 12y plus negative 54. Both mean the same thing. How did you do? Let's try another one. Again, find the product by distributing, writing your answer in simplest form or standard form. Go ahead and pause the video now and click play when you're ready to check. Answer, here we go. Negative 9 times 7 and negative 9 times negative y. Negative 9 times 7 is negative 63. And negative 9 times negative y is positive 9y. Put it all together, variable coming first, 9y minus 63. Number 4, same thing. Pause the video, try it, and once you're done, click play. So here we are. We're going to distribute 5 times a and 5 times 7. 5 times a 
and 5 times positive 7. 5 times a is 5a. 5 times 7 is 35. Together, they will make 5a plus 35. Can't simplify anymore just because those are like, not like. The last one, again, pause by yourself. Try it, and then once you're done, click play. All right, here we go. Again, distributing the number on the outside of the parentheses. This time we're working a little bit backwards. Negative 9 is being distributed to 5y and negative 6. So negative 9 times 5y and negative 9 times negative 6. You haven't really seen this part before when you're multiplying a number and a number in a variable, but you still can multiply them. You just can't add them together. So negative 9 times positive 5y will give you a negative 45y. And negative 9 times negative 6 will give you a positive 54. Put them all together, we'll get negative 45y plus 54. How did you do? So that's going to conclude our notes for today. Again, make sure you have five things written in your notes. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.